Good day, collective. This is a general message for my Aquarius collective, whether that is your sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, or North Node. Okay, remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Use this message for your highest and greatest good only. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box. I also have a members only community for $4.99 a month. First link in the description box. Go ahead and join for additional content. What does my Aquarius Collective most need to know for their highest and greatest good today? You got some Karma Energy Collective. We got Saturn, Libra, and Mars. So this is definitely some masculine energy. You could be a male Aquarius, doesn't have to be, or placement. You could be dealing with the Libra and or justice system or balancing some truths. But we have the energy of karma here, okay? And then with the Mars energy, that's, that's warlike energy. Whether you use it mindfully or recklessly, it's up to you. But this this energy, it's about to be some transformations for a Capricorn. I feel like um, it's masculine energies. Aries, Libra, Capricorn, and Aquarius, and possibly a Scorpio. Energies within this message. So we'll just take, like I said, take it how it resonates for you. I didn't think I was going to need Kipper, but I just might. So we can get clarification on what these energy signs and planets are. What does my Aquarius collective most need to know for their highest and greatest good involving this Libra energy? What is this Libra energy? What does my Aquarius collective need to know about this Libra energy universe? You have the gift card in reverse, Aquarius collective. Somebody could not be expecting or this Libra energy is not actually blessed or receiving any blessings and they're in poverty right now. This Libra energy could also be concerned about their health. What is this Saturn? Karma energy, courthouse, definitely legal situations taking place, Aquarius. Could be spiritual court and or real court involving contracts and or an agreement. What else for the Saturn energy? You have wealthy man. Uh, Aquarius Collective, you could have a masculine energy out here that is wanting to kind of compete with you when it comes to spiritual wealth, material wealth, for money reasons. He's not an official person. What else does the collective need to know? So basically, it's a kar karmic contract taking place. Whoever the karmic is in this situation that's been doing spell work, whether that's been literal spells or just gossip, running a mouth, manipulation, things like that, they're in despair right now. What's this Saturn energy? What else for Saturn? Pay attention to angel numbers. Main female, low vibrational feminine energy. So you Aquarius Collective, you could have some karma involving a contract with a karmic feminine energy and or a legal situation with a feminine energy or masculine energy involving theft of some sort. What's the Mars energy? You have community. Yeah, groups of people currently are trying to figure out what they've been putting their energy towards. What did I say? They trying to figure out what they've been putting their energy towards. Was it mindful or mindless? Mm. I guess it was mindless, reckless behavior. Some masks are being taken off. It's some, it's some tension within groups of people's communities. And organizations as well, collective. So Aquarius Collective, I don't know, or placement, what, what you do for work. Also with this Saturn energy, I don't know what you do for work. But I feel like your energy... You're going to be taking masks off of people or either you've done that already. Okay, you've brought some justice, honest and balanced to a situation. And those that are not gifted and maybe were energy thieving and harvesting and whatnot, they're going to be experiencing poverty. Karma, you got karma out here twice. 
it's karma for masculines that have gotten into contract agreements with low vibrational feminine energies as well. What does my Aquarius collective need to know about the Libra? Gift in reverse. You have the death card and the ten of cups. So obviously, Aquarius collective, if it was groups of people trying to put endings to your gifts, your blessings, your spiritual well-being, your physical well-being, they're going to be experiencing that. Whether It don't matter if these people work for the justice system or not. If it was a Libra doing spell work on you, death magic or endings to your gifts, endings to your happiness, this person is losing every fucking thing, all out in poverty. It might end up having to turn to sex work with the Nine of Wands. What's the poverty energy? Liberty poverty? Libra poverty? Something's going on in New York with a male Libra in a relationship, FYI. You might get communication. It might be a lot going on. This masculine might get caught up in some type of activity involving gangs and guns. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Libra masculine energy and this person is having sex with people that you know are um, other men, it's about to be some problems. It's a lot of deep regrets and depression. Because it's been a man that's been having sex with other men. I don't know if it was for money or rituals and what have you. But this person stressed out a lot. This person could be in jail or in spiritual jail. They're giving out communication. They having to tell a children's mom or another feminine energy that they losing money. Either losing money in a court case or this, this Libra could be a feminine energy. And is experiencing a lot of endings in her life she's being isolated and left alone and in poverty what's the libra poverty energy yeah you got ace of pentacles in reverse delayed abundance this person is about to miss they're already missing opportunities that's the truth but that's because they were causing illusions and confusion that's why they're in poverty this person could be spending their money on like uh drugs pharmaceuticals prescription pills and things like that as well so that's why they're in poverty it's a group of people that do want uh some energies to no longer exist collective so somebody could end up in jail somebody's projected enough insecurity negative energy and they've been watching for a while and they ready to go ahead and move in on on the libra energy whether that Libra energy is actual justice system and or person. What else does my Aquarius collective need to know about this Saturn energy and courthouse? Saturn energy and courthouse. Hello, kitty. I see you creeping back there by the fence. Nine of swords, gossip and scandal. People that work in courthouses, low vibrational feminine energies. It's gossip and scandals about their marriages. It's stressing them out. Spiritual contracts. People that were um, interfering, causing complications, difficulties, gossip, slander, just doing too much. That's where they're all in. Dark Knight of the Soul. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity right there. It's a lot of people getting karma right now, collective, especially ritualists. Ritualists, people that do love spells. They're going through it. It's more to come. What else does the Aquarius Collective need to know about this Saturn and main female uh, energy? Could be also a low vibrational Aquarius female that's scared right now to go to court. They could have tried to end a situation with a coven using some magic on a case and it's, it's not working. They just wasted their money. And now she's catching a lot of... Uh, it's a masculine energy ready to go upside her fucking head for running her mouth so much about what she could and do and all of that and none of that shit worked. Five of Cups. It's an Aquarius or Aquarius placement, but what's the Saturn main female? What does my collective need to know? Yep, you got the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So whatever you guys are investing in, you have to remember you're going to get karma. So if you're investing in gossip, scandal, gang stalking, you're going to go ahead and welcome those type of investments into your life. And somebody is getting karma and realizing that. Somebody may need to try to, uh, I don't know, somebody trying to pay to delay a situation. 
and it's not going to work. So this karmic feminine could be this Libra invested in a situation with the seven of pentacles involving a legal situation, but that's been coming out. So Aquarius, I guess you're connected to this energy or that's it's a placement. You know, this person is a false person. They don't motivate you. They don't inspire you. You took a leap of faith to take it back to your power, set energetic boundaries. These females or this female and or masculine, they all get set up by the community, basically. Queen of Wands, King of Wands right there. It's officially karmics against karmics, y'all. What does the collective need to know about this Mars and community energy? The people that you deal with, the fast moving players that move really fast to do things. You have to be conscientious of those masculines. You already know that some of them are cursed and or destined for a harsh, painful ending or jail. So during some of this war type of energy, that's what's going to be happening amongst communities of fake ass karmic people. Okay, y'all. So just accept the truth for what it is. Feminine energies. Y'all going to have to accept the truth for what it is for y'all nephews, little brothers sons your, your friends kids teenagers or they're older but they still act like kids they still act like babies y'all y'all know what time it is y'all do know it's angels here so if anybody is out here doing the devil's work god's angels just go fire that ass okay three of swords ten of swords that's 13 we already got the death card out here in the beginning what does the collective need to know about this Mars energy and false person? You got the page of wands. Yeah, y'all definitely are going to end up getting some type of communication, possibly from a Leo. This masculine is going to want to try to travel towards you or just communicate with you. He's wearing a mask. He's not coming towards you out of an energy that's actually positive. He's trying to get you to basically make a move that's going to cause you to sacrifice yourself. Whether that move is a text, call, email, whatever it is. It's a Leo masculine. Okay. That's trying to get you to make a move in an investment that's going to cause you more harm. No good. All right, Aquarius Collective. I told you this masculine could be a family member. Yeah, he's intuitive. He's he has money. He's stable. He could have a business, etc. But guess what? That person is still a false person. This person still uses Mars energy for reckless behavior. He's still a karmic at the end of the day. What does the Aquarius collective need to know about this page of wands and false person? The community could want to go ahead and out this person, these people. And they want to communicate with you, Aquarius. Three of Cups. Be conscientious because you know you're wrapping up cycles with these people. King of Swords right there. You know you're, you know you're wrapping up cycles with these people. Somebody might try to offer you to um, go to a party or a gathering or something. It's to backstab, them, backstab and betray you. Chariot in reverse. Something can happen to you and the police don't even find you, Aquarius Collective. Look. Something involving some guns. Seven of Wands ain't come out, so it's not physical altercation. It's involving guns. Please be careful, Aquarius Collective, whether you are male and or female or just a placement. Watch it. Okay, but this general energy is a lot of exposure to give you some clarity and some aha moments. Y'all, if you're dealing with a Libra um, energy, this person is currently in a lot of poverty right now because the choices that they made. It's about to be a lot of endings to, for this person. They're already experiencing mental health issues as karma. Investing in low vibrational karmic contracts in situations. And doing work on court cases for other people that have karma as well. So people have just been dragging other people into their, into their karma when it comes to jail and money. Aquarius Collective. Okay, you got the king of pentacles. Stay grounded, stable, and balanced. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. Stay grounded, balanced, and stable, okay? You got the emperor energy and that go that seven of wands. Aquarius collective. You got a Leo and or Capricorn Taurus masculine energy and the Aries. They plan on trying to set you up at a party or a gathering or something like that. They've been working together. 
So whether this is all one situation or split up situations, definitely go within, take some time, collect it to stay to yourself, do some type of withdrawing, definitely soul search and nurture yourself while you're in that hermit mode energy but yeah whoever is trying to pretend like they cool with you platonically they're trying to manipulate you blind you you already kind of had a split decision about this person you heard them talking about some unbalanced things involving possibly the police or a feminine energy that's low vibrational and what they do for transportation or where they were going and what they're doing you already up on game aquarius collective once again whether you're a male or female Keep using your intuition. Let karma reign. If I were you, I would just focus on your own emotional baggage that you've accepted when you made some wrong turns down the way. You're learning lessons that you are currently learning from heartbreak, gossip, scandal, dark night of the soul. What's coming towards you? You won't be overwhelmed or confused. You've already been feeling stuck, but I think you should know meditation will help you release that that energy it's a it's a karmic female that's wanting to project onto you it's a couple of karmic females that are wanting to project onto you including this libra or earth sign female capricorn taurus virgo and they're doing it with other masculine energies or because of a masculine energy aquarius collective Whatever you do, please continue to go within. Hermit and High Priestess and Justice for you, Aquarius Collective. Take time to meditate, practice stillness, move in silence, but do not move messy and unnecessarily doing shit that you ain't got no business doing. Okay? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.